Alternative Dispute Resolution. Alternative Dispute Resolution, or ADR, refers to methods of settling disputes other than going through the litigation process, or if you're already involved in litigation, settling that litigation short of going to trial. Why not go to trial? The litigation process is costly, time-consuming, and it is, of course, also risky. You never actually know what the outcome may be. You're sort of rolling the dice no matter how well you prepare when you go into trial. Criminal cases can be settled either by dismissal, which can happen by order of the judge, but also by agreement reached between the prosecutor and defendant, or more commonly by plea agreement. Most criminal cases settle by plea agreement where the defendant agrees to plead guilty, usually to a reduced charge in exchange for an agreed upon sentence. Civil cases can be settled in any number of ways. The plaintiff may agree to withdraw the case if it's become clear that the case is weak or not legally supported. The parties may agree that a lawsuit is to be withdrawn and they enter into a separate private contract of agreement, or the parties may stipulate, that is, ask the judge to enter, that a particular decision and terms be uh, written in as the judgment in the case. In other words, the parties ask the judge to enter a particular judgment. The most common form of resolution is uh, through negotiation. Negotiation is a discussion aimed at reaching agreement. It's used to resolve legal cases, but also any number of other things in life from mild social disagreements to a multinational war. It's also used in bar as bargaining. Negotiation can actually effectively mean bargaining regarding a sale, a lease, or an employment contract. If you've ever haggled over the price of an object at a garage sale or flea market, you've engaged in a negotiation. Negotiation is the simplest form of reaching resolution involving only the parties or their attorneys. Disadvantages to a negotiation is that it can feel like bullying, especially if one side has more power or resources than the other so that uh, the threat of litigation um, is something that's maybe very difficult for one side that doesn't have the same amount of money or access to expert witnesses as the other. Threats, stonewalling, and fraud are all some unethical tactics used by hardened negotiators. Some of the advantages are it's extremely flexible. Negotiation can continue even while litigation process moves forward. And the parties are able to fashion an agreement without outside interference or influence from anyone else. Mediation is a more formal type of alternative dispute resolution that is often used to resolve litigation. Mediation is a process where the parties meet with a mutually selected impartial neutral person, a mediator, who assists them in negotiating their differences. So in other words, a mediator facilitates agreement between the parties. Mediation is often ordered by a judge in civil cases and particularly in family court cases. Mediation can be also voluntarily entered into by the parties. Mediators usually describe themselves as being on everyone's side. That is, they push hard to reach agreement pointing out the strengths, weaknesses, expenses, and likely outcomes if the case goes to trial and reminding both sides, sometimes very strenuously, that all will be better if everyone can reach agreement. Some of the disadvantages of mediation are that you have to pay the mediator and usually the parties split this cost. Mediation often delays the litigation process while the mediation is occurring, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. And you may be pressured at a mediation into an accepting agreement that you later regret. 
there develops a lot of momentum towards getting an agreement and in fact uh, one of the chief advantage of mediation is that resolution is reached in nearly all cases. If resolution is not reached, you can still return to court. But again, there's often a lot of pressure to reach a agreement at that mediation session. So you do need to be a little bit uh, careful and make sure that the agreement is something you can live with. It does get you feedback on your case uh, from a neutral third party mediator who will point out some of the strengths and weaknesses of your of your legal case and it saves a lot of time and money and reduces risk compared to trial. The last form of alternative dispute resolution, which is less common, is arbitration. Arbitration, however, is a binding court-like process, but it uses a private arbitrator instead of a judge to decide the case. It does deprive you of your day in court because you don't have the rules of evidence and rules of civil procedure to protect you and your position. Uh, however, arbitration is often mandated by labor union contracts, credit card contracts, and other consumer agreements. Uh, insurance policies are more frequently these days uh, requiring that you go to arbitration instead of suing the insurance company. Uh, that said, arbitration still may provide a faster route to conclude a case than does litigation.